Hey, welcome back to Super Mario Bros. X Level Editor tutorial. This time I'll be covering hard-coded graphics and changing sound effects and stuff. Now there's no way to get the hard-coded graphics without um, some sort of extraction thing. So I put a link in the description to the one that I'll be using. Um, and so you should just go download it and then you should, or, well, this is what I did. You don't have to do this, but I went to the location of my Super Mario Bros. X and I made a new folder and called it Hard Coded Graphics. I don't believe it matters where you save it to. This is just what I decided to do. And I opened it up and then I just put it in here and then I brought the folder out and then that's, that's all I did. Now inside the folder will be um, all this stuff. All that we really want to worry about is the extractor.exe. So open that up and then first of all um, what we should do is make sure that everything in this list is checked except for txt because we want it to look for all of these files and extract them and stuff except for the txt because if we do that then we'll get like a billion txt files that we really don't need. And then what you'll want to do is you'll want to select the location of your um, .exe. So uh, just go to the location of your .exe. And then before you select it and do any modification or anything, you should make a backup copy of it just in case you, you know, mess something up or want to revert back to the um, the original one or anything like that. And then you'll just want to select the .exe. And then, you'll want to select the location that you want the extracted files to be saved to. So I just selected um, the folder that I made, hard-coded graphics, you'll just select the location there. And then, you'll just want to hit the start button. And then you'll have to wait a minute, because there are a lot of files. And then it makes a little noise, I'll just move that over there. <clears throat> And then what you'll want to do is see this little plus button down here, you'll want to click that and then click OK and then OK so that it selects everything in this list. And then you'll want to select the extract button and then select the location that you want it to be extracted, make sure that the location is correct and then just hit OK and then it'll extract. It usually, usually takes a little while to extract. Now I guess you don't have to select every file like if if you know that you only want to edit certain files and you could just select those but it's kinda of hard to tell so I just select them all <clears throat> excuse me and now I'll just go to the place where I had them extracted to and then here's all the hard-coded graphics everything now some of these hard-coded graphics you cannot um, you cannot make the byte size any bigger than it already is or it might it might not work correctly so in other words you can't add really very many colors to um, any of these because the more colors there are the higher the byte size will be <clears throat> and it can't uh, for some of these it cannot be any bigger than the original so you're gonna wanna be careful of that and also, you cannot make any of the graphics uh, larger than they already are. They have to be the same size, the same byte size, and everything. So yeah, that does kind of limit what you can do with hard-coded graphics. But, you know, you're just going to have, have to kind of experiment, I guess. And in order to get the graphics back into the EXE, uh... Uh, let's, ju let's just pretend that I edited one of these. Like, I didn't actually, but let's just pretend that I did. So then I'd go back into the extractor.exe. Oh man, the phone is ringing. That's always a fun time. Anyways, um, what you'll want to do is you'll want to go back to this screen, and then if you already closed it, that's okay. Just uh, reopen the extractor, and then hit start, and then just wait for it to, to scan again. It may take a while. Once again, and then... After that's happened, let's just say that, I'll go back here, 
let's just pretend that I edited oh I don't know let's just pretend that I edited this this blue guy right here SMBX 793 then what you do is you go back in here and then find SMBX 793 or whatever one that you edited and then click it so that it becomes highlighted in blue then down here where it says functions click on that and then click import file and then you'll just select the the edited file so 793 let's see here almost there there we are and then I just select this and then open and that just gives you a warning yes I forgot to mention before you do this what I would suggest doing is making a backup of the file before you edit it by you know just copying it and then pasting it wherever you know maybe on your desktop or something just so that you have a backup and that's what this warning means just um, you don't have to worry about it. just hit yes and then if the byte size is where it should be and if it's the same size and everything then it should just work it'll be all fine and then you'll just you can just close out of this and then this right here is your hacked exe um, it is not the same as the original because you know now it has the whatever hard-coded graphic in it that you edited um, so you know if you if you don't want it and you just want to replace it then just delete it and bring back this um, this original file that you copied um, and yeah if it gives you any warnings or not any warnings sorry if it gives you any errors like after you try to re-import it then it that probably means that the byte size is not where it should be or you made some sort of other mistake the website that's in the description where you download it um, has some explanations to some of the errors so I'll just replace this because I want the regular editor um, and now for uh, sound effects so if you want to edit a sound effect it's actually pretty easy what I would suggest doing first is making a copy of the file by just you know taking it the original file and putting it somewhere and then you can just replace that with whatever other file that you want to. Now what I mean by this is you can get an, another mp3 file to replace the, the sound effect and it has to be mp3 or at least I'm pretty sure it does. I don't believe it'll work if it's not an mp3. So here I'll just make one real quick. And, and, and yeah, that, this certainly is something. So now I'll just um, export it as a .mp3 and put it where my smbx is. And then I'll save it under sound where it was. And then let's say we want to replace the one up sound. So you have to name it exactly the same as the original file. I believe it was one up.mp3. Then just save it like that. Okay. And then you should be good to go. Um, or, you know, you can just replace it with whatever file. And now, I've just opened up my level here. See, I've placed a one up there. And now, it should play the mp3 file that I just replaced the other one with. Right. Yeah, as you can see, it's it's a pretty awesome sound effect. I know, we should... Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, so yeah, that's, that's how you do that. And then, if, if for whatever reason you want to change one of the music files that it comes with, you just do the exact same thing, name it the exact same, and put up, make a backup, I would suggest. Yeah, thank you for watching, I really hope this helped. Um, next time will probably just be an optional video where I build a level so that you can kind of see how this all comes together, and also maybe talk about some odds and ends here and there. Yeah, thanks for watching.